Hi guys, Sterling Inspector here. Have you guys seen lately that mining flux is extremely profitable? In this video, we're going to have a look why it's extremely profitable and how you can mine it on your rigs at home. So, if we go over to what to mine, you can see that flux mining is way more profitable than Ethereum right now. This figure is based off one 3090 card and it shows that flux is around $2 higher in profit than Ethereum right now. Also, the luck on the blocks is way over 100%, which could be great for solo mining. Now, if we go over to the Flux price chart and click on the three month chart, we can see that Flux had a massive price jump at the start of November, which has led to a high spike, which slowly tumbled down just a few days after. And then a few days ago, we also had another massive spike with a price of around $3. If we look at the seven day chart, we can see that massive spike more clearly. Then from that spike, the price has started to level out at around $1.90, which is good because it allows for very profitable mining. So now let's get into what Flux is and how you can mine it. First off, if we go to the Flux website, we can see that Flux is aiming to be a decentralized Web 3.0 network. Flux will basically run apps which are decentralized apps or so-called dApps, and this is their main feature. We'll get into what dApps are later and how you can use them in their wallet. You can also launch nodes with Flux if you don't want to mine the coin directly. Every block in the Flux network is split between the node and the miners equally. To launch a node, you need to stake a certain amount of Flux. And obviously the last feature is GPU mining, which is what we'll be showing you how to do today. So let's get into the GPU mining. So the first step is to go over to minerpool.org, as you can see at the top of the page. Now, to get started, you can click this button at the top or find the Flux coin in the list below. Now, once you're on this page, you want to click on the connect button. This will bring up the menu which guides you through connecting the wallet and the miner. As you can see, there's two servers here. The first one is for mining GPUs that have a low hash rate, such as a 1070 or lower. And the second server is for anything above a 1070, which is probably the one that you'll want to use. You can see that the smaller server has a fixed difficulty and the bigger one has a varied difficulty. Now you can use any of these three miners, but I prefer Gminer. So you want to click download and it'll take you to the Gminer downloads page. If you're on Linux, you can download that version, but we're going to download the Windows version. So once that's downloaded, just double click to open it and find the folder. Right click and hit extract all. This should only take a few seconds. Once that's completed, you want to look for a file named mine Zellcash. You don't have to rename it, but I'm just going to make it easier and rename it to mine flux. Once you've done this, go back to mine pool. As you can see at the top, there's different servers for where you are in the world. One for Europe, one for the US and one for Asia. So pick which one you want to use and scroll down to the G miner part. Once here, you can go back to the flux mining file, right click and hit edit. A Windows Defender pop-up will show, just hit more info and run anyway, this will get rid of it. So this is the miner file and we will be replacing text from this with the gminer text. So you want to go back to the miner pool and copy this example text. Now go into the miner file and paste it over all this text. As you can see you need a wallet address, we'll get one of those in a minute. First off you need to select your server. If we go back onto the miner pool, we can see there are two ports the 2032 and the 2033. So pick your server and put the correct port in the file. Now we need a wallet address. So there's many wallets you can use, but I'm going to be using the native Zellcore wallet. So go over to zellcore.io. This is what it should look like. Now click the try now button and it will take you to the bottom of the page. You can download this on your phone or your computer. We're going to download the desktop version. Once downloaded, you want to install the wallet and you want to find it on your desktop and open it. You have to sign up with an account, but I'm going to log in with my details right now. So once you've created an account, you want to click on Flux and then click on the Receive tab. And this is where you can find your wallet address. Now you want to go back into the Miner file and copy and paste your wallet address over the Wallet section. You can also pick a worker name. I'm going to put SS for Stirl Inspector. Lastly, we want to set a password. This is so we can change the payout in the minor pool dashboard. I'm setting mine to 123 just as an example. Now you want to save that file and go back and open it. This will start the miner. 
As you can see, it's recognized my GPUs and they've already completed new jobs on the network. After a couple of seconds, it should show your hash rate or in this case, souls per second. It also displays the standard shares, power, temperature, overclock settings, and all that good stuff that you need to know about your GPU. It's also great because it shows exactly how much power you're using. This power adds up over time, so you can calculate the exact amount of electricity cost. Now I'm just gonna shut this down so it doesn't overheat my GPUs. Now to look at your dashboard, all you wanna do is go back to minor pool. And then you're gonna paste your wallet address into the search bar. So this is the dashboard. It displays basic stuff like your hash rate chart, and then average of five minutes and 24 hours. It also displays stuff about the block and how much work you've done. Now, if we move over to the balance tab, this is where we can set our payout amount. You need to use your password that you set from earlier and input it in the top of your page. Then just change the number to whichever you want and click save. This will basically save a balance amount for you. Now, I wanna go over to the reason that Flux is so profitable. And this is due to the parallel assets that are mined alongside Flux. I'll get into what parallel assets are later in the video, but for now, we can just see that we are mining parallel asset. So you earn around $5 on mine in Flux alone. And then under that, you can see that we earn an extra $2.50 with the parallel assets. Now the loyalty program is off at the moment, but will turn on once you start mining full time. It basically gives you extra Flux for the longer you spend in the mining pool, which is a better incentive to use minerpool.org. So now moving on to parallel assets, if we go into the Flux website, we can find the Parallel Assets tab and take a look at it. As you can see, Flux basically provides access to multiple blockchains through these new parallel assets. So far, they've released five assets. These are Cadena, Ethereum, Binance Coin, Solana, and Tron. They have also announced their next four assets, which will be Avalanche, Cardano, Cosmos, and finally, Polymatic. Currently, you can only swap Ethereum, Binance, and Cadena. I believe in early 2022, all these assets will be tradable so you can cash out all your mining profits. At the moment, Miner Pool will keep them on your dashboard. These will be transferred in early 2022. If we go down, we can see that you can swap these coins on exchanges such as Uniswap or PancakeSwap. Or we can change this coin in the native Zelcor wallet by using dApps. If we want to do this, we need to open up the wallet. Once in there, we want to click add asset, then add the parallel asset to your wallet. So there should be three at the moment, which is Cadena, Binance Coin and Ethereum. Now you can see I already have some Binance Coin in the wallet, which is just from parallel asset mining from earlier days. You can also use this wallet for any other cryptocurrency you want to store. Now to swap these assets, you want to click on the app section on the left side of the screen. This will give you a range of apps to choose from and we'll go over those in other videos. But for now, you wanna use the Fusion app to swap these assets. So it's just as easy as picking an asset to sell and picking one to buy. Of course, you have to pay a fee, but this can vary depending on which coin you're swapping. Now, as of two days ago, Flux has been listed for trading on Binance. This is one of the best ways to send your parallel assets and convert them into money. They currently only support Ethereum and BSC assets. So you'd have to swap other assets to these coins if you wanted to sell them on Binance. It also works on a Ethereum or BSC wallet address. So you can only use these coins to send to your Binance account. Once there, you can just sell them on for money. So that gives you a gist of what Flux is and how to mine it. I hope you enjoyed the video and now you've started mining Flux. I'll leave links to all the websites in this video in the description below. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any thoughts or questions on Flux, please leave a comment below.